Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Thank you for joining us for our act of worship today. Today is going to be a bit different to other weeks because today is normally the day, the first Sunday of the month, between 4pm and 6pm, when we would meet in Endeavour Primary School for Morse, which is our gathering around food, around stories, around craft, around playing uh, and around just being together as a community of people. So today's service is going to be a bit Morse themed. Welcome to my study. If you're looking at the books behind me, seeing what a vicar might be reading, all the theological volumes are over in that way, so you won't be able to actually check those out, but never mind. Thank you for joining us. Uh, all the words this week are on the screen that you need to join in with and there'll only be words uh, to join in with within the songs. Hopefully you'll have got the downloads for the other activities contained within this week. If you haven't, go to the website and have a look at that. We are going to start our time together by singing Make Way, Make Way for Christ the King in Splendour Arrives. And Rob and Sarah are going to lead us in that now. Thank you, Rob and Sarah, for leading us in that joyful song. I'm now going to hand over to Emily and Annie Joy, who are going to help us with a craft activity that will guide us through this Holy Week to the cross on Friday and through to the empty tomb on Easter Sunday. So today is Palm Sunday, which is the week before, or the Sunday before Easter, um, which is the, marks the beginning of Holy Week. So we're going to make Holy Week boxes, which is something that you can, a little tiny activity um, that you can do together each day. Um, if you go to godventure.co.uk, uh, we'll put links um, with this video, um, you can find a little um, booklet of um, what to do each day. Um, but to start with, we're going to make the, book, uh, the box and we're going to put all the bits together. So what you need, first of all, is a little box. Um, obviously we're trying to think about what we can do with what we've got um, so a tin um, a little gift box a jewelry box a lunch box any box you like so take your box pick the one you'd like Annie um, and then inside your box first of all you need to put some green paper or if you've not got green paper put some white paper in um, and we'll come back to that and hopefully, I think I've made mine a bit big. 
So if you put in a couple of couple of pieces of paper like that. Um, next off, you need a figure. Um, ideally, you want some. Uh, it's to represent D Jesus, so you kind of want something that um, you can use your imagination with. So these little wooden peg people are great, but if you haven't got that, you've got a egg, an egg man <laughs> who won't fit in my box, so he won't work. Um, we've got a little plastic figure. He can sit down. He looks a bit, <laughs> a bit funny for Jesus, but you know make do with what we've got or a lego figure so pick your figure annie what are you going to put in your box cool i'm going to put a little wooden figure in my box too um next off we need three coins now you can use real coins or chocolate coins i was all prepared for more so i saw these in um uh smiths in town reduced and i thought oh that's great we're all ready for everybody in more so you know one day when we can all meet back together again you can share these chocolate coins with us if they're still in date by then so take your three coins three coins and pop them in your box um next you need a little scrap of um material white material um you could use um, tissue paper or loo paper um, or whatever you want really um, just uh, to that you can use to wrap your figure in later on in the week so what do you want to use AJ okay so we'll just cut a little a little strip of that off um, this is some recycled fabric I can't remember where it came came from now but I just washed it and used it I'm all about recycling stuff so if we Snip that there. And then we can oops, rip it maybe. No, it's not gonna work, we'll have to cut it. Can you hold it tight for me, AJ? That's it. So cut a little bit of fabric just so it's big enough to wrap your little figure person in. Should have got my fabric scissors out. Never mind. Good. <laughs> so there we go and then fold that up and put that in your box so the box is getting quite full now okay it's looking good um now the next thing is kind of optional um we've got a little lego play cup um or you can use a doll's tea set cup and we've got some um doll's house bread but if you don't have those or you could use real bread um but if you don't have those um don't worry you can just draw them later on which is what the instructions say to do um to draw them um, on the lid of your box but you can just draw them on a piece of paper that works fine as well um so if you want to put those in your box um i think we're nearly there with what we need to put in our box um next thing we need is we need something that we can mold or shape into a cross later on in the week so you could use a pipe cleaner or you can use um, uh, the twist ties for um, sandwich bags um, if you if you're using those maybe maybe put two of them in um, so what do you want to put in AJ of course you want a purple one I'm gonna put a green no I'm gonna put a brown one in I think so just kind of bend that a little bit pop that in and then I think that is everything you need for your box. You pop your lid on. Now um, here is an optional extra because uh, I like making things. Yeah, I like tags and ribbons <laughs> and things. Um, so we're going to make um, a little uh, a little tag. Um, this is just a parcel tag that you can get in Smiths, but you can make it yourself. Um, we're going to use letter stamps. Um, and we're just going to write Holy Week box on it and put some little leaf prints on. But if you haven't got stamps and ink and everything, you can use pens and paper. That's fine. So um, what do you want to do, Annie? Do you want to stamp it on or do you want to write it on? Stamp. Okay. So we stamp it on with the black ink. There, do you want to pass me the pens? Thank you. I'll see the colours. So um, if we just pop that underneath you. Oh. Um, Lee, can you just pass that white piece of paper? 
Thank you. I'll just pop that underneath you just in case there's any inky mess because that's permanent ink. We don't want that on the table. So we just spell out Holy Week. Um, I'm going to write mine in green pen, I think. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so get your right letters. Oh, they're quite thick, aren't they? Yeah. So I'm not sure if this is going to fit on here. So Holy So there we go. Expertly done. <laughs> so, um, and then I've got some leaf stamps. And some green ink or you could just leave it as it is do whatever you like or you could just write on your box if you if you're able to there we go A little holy week box stamp um, and then when you've done that you can put it on top of your box and tie it all up with a piece of ribbon. We've got gift wrap ribbon or ribbons. Um, I'll tell you my top my top secret for having lots of coloured ribbons. Um, you know when you get new clothes and they've got the hanger things on them, they're always ribbon and they get in the way and you cut them off, save them and then you can use them for things. So there we go. And then it's all done. Your Holy Week box. It's all wrapped up and it's ready to use. Which we'll come back to in a minute. Hosanna is a word that will be proclaimed by countless Christians around the world on this Palm Sunday. And we're going to exclaim it now as we sing together. Praise is rising. Worthy of 
special treat for you now as a good friend of ours Alan brings us our Bible reading for this Palm Sunday. Matthew 21 verses 1 to 11. When they came near Jerusalem and had reached Bethage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples ahead of him. He said to them, go into the village ahead of you. You will find a donkey tied there and a colt with it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them. That person will send them at once. This happened so that what the prophet had said came true. Tell the people of Zion, your king is coming to you. He is gentle, riding on a donkey, on a colt, a young pack animal. The disciples did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their coats on them for Jesus to sit on. Most of the people spread their coats on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowd that went ahead of him and that followed him was shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus came into Jerusalem, the whole city was in uproar. People were asking, who is this? And the crowd answered, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. So we've made our Holy Week boxes now. Um, and the first thing to do on our Holy Week instructions is Palm Sunday and we've just heard the Bible reading um, so now it's time to do our activity so if we open up our box and we need to take out the green paper or the ordinary paper and on this paper we're going to draw some palm leaves so if you haven't got green paper or card you can use white paper and just colour in some leaves so draw some palm leaves I think palm leaves are kind of long and and frilly <laughs> but whatever shape leaf you want to draw will be perfectly fine it's gonna end up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> they don't need to be perfect which is just as well <laughs> um, or another way to draw them is you can draw like a, a teardrop shape and then you can just snip in at the edges to make a palm leaf shape. So yeah, I've just done it like that. I'm doing that for the next one. Um, the only trouble with that is you have to be careful you don't snip all the way through because otherwise you'll just end up with lots of bits of leaf rather than leaves so when you've got your teardrop shape you can fold it in half and just do some little little cuts in like that and then you've got a super easy leaf shape or you can or you can draw one <laughs> but then it might be quite tricky to cut out so You can get creative with this, be as quick or as detailed as you like. It really doesn't matter. I did mine a bit small. That's alright. All different size leaves. You can always make another one. And it's good to have one for each member of your family that's taking part in this little activity. So 
gonna get. There's another palm leaf. <laughs> Some, yeah, you have. Yeah, I've just snipped from the outside. Let's have a look. It's still a leaf. It's still perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. A little tiny leaf. There we go. So make it nice and big. Fill fill the piece of paper, and then when you fold it in half, snip from the outside edge, the unfolded edge. So now we've made our palm leaves. We've got a little activity to do because, um, as we heard in the Bible reading, um, when Jesus rode on the donkey into Jerusalem, everybody got palm branches from the trees and they waved them to welcome him. So um, what we need to do is we need to get a little Jesus figure out of our box and close the box. Pop Jesus there. We can wave our branches at Jesus and the people said Hosanna, Hosanna as Jesus came in. Um, so here's a question for you to think about. How can we welcome Jesus into our home um, at this time? Have you got any thoughts how we can welcome Jesus into our home? Putting, putting Annie on the spot there. How about you, Lee? It's difficult when we can't invite people into our homes, isn't it? How can we invite Jesus into our home? <laughs> By leaving space for him, to think yeah. about him, and listen yeah. to him. Um, one of my boys said when when uh, he realised that we were all going to be stuck inside, he said, you don't need to give up chocolate now for Lent because you've got all this time to listen to God, uh, which we thought was quite funny because we can still fill our time um, with stuff even when we're not particularly doing anything. Um, another thing I thought we could do, um, you can light a candle. I know some people find that really helpful. We can light a candle and we can just spend some time together as a family and think about Jesus. Hey Caleb, so what do you think? What kind of things have we been doing in our house to make sure we're making room for Jesus? We've been drawing pictures for people, we've been doing the Bible, we've been giving away things to them, we've been kind and friendly to yeah, them. We remember that. We've been singing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we've been um, playing. Yeah. Good. Google washing the dishes. How are you going to make room for Jesus in your home? I can open the door, fill my toy that I don't need out, um, tidy up the spare bedroom, and then he can stay. This is my morning God space, but I've been coming back to it during the day recently to add to the paper chain and pray for the people whose names I'm adding. Um. Another way um, to invite Jesus into our home um, is to say the Lord's Prayer. So should we say the Lord's Prayer together? I've got the words here because I always kind of say my own thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And then you can leave your little Holy Week box somewhere where the whole family can see it. And then... Um, you can be reminded to welcome Jesus into your home. And then um, tomorrow, there's something else to do on your sheet. So hopefully you'll be able to access um, that. Um, it's a free download on godventure.co.uk. Um, if you have any problems, do just send us a message. Our prayers this week are going to be a bit different. And for our prayers, you need to leave your sofa now or wherever you are and go and find seven items. You need something that's red, something that's orange, 
something that's yellow, something that's green, something that's blue, something that's purple, and finally something that's pink, because we are going to pray with these colours. And when we're led in prayer with the person who's leading that colour, hold on to that item, whatever it may be, whether it be a cloth or a toy or a jumper, whatever it is, hold on to that thing and join in with the prayer at the end by saying, Amen. Thank you, Father God, that you love us and that you are always with us. Amen. For the orange prayer, I'm wearing my orange running top. Dear God, please help us to ride out this storm patiently, to use the time to listen to you and do what you say. Amen. Dear God, please help all those who are scared. May they know your perfect peace that takes away all fear. Dear God, please protect all those working and volunteering for the NHS, for the police and other emergency services and for all those working in shops and other key roles at this time. Thank you for all they are doing to protect and serve us. Amen. Thank you God that we are your children. Thank you that even though we are in difficult times, we can trust in you and pray for your kingdom to come. Amen. Thank you, God, that we know you will bring us to, through this crisis to safety on the other side, just as you protected Noah and brought him and his family through the flood. We are going to sing again. We are going to sing Hosanna again, but this time in the song Jumping Up and Down. So get ready to jump up and down at the appropriate times. And we are going to join the Clutterbuck family visually and the Davis family audibly as we sing together. Jumping up and down. Shout Hosanna! Jumping up and down.
well done for joining in if you did join in. And if you did join in, you might be feeling a bit peckish around now, so you probably earned this next craft. Emily and Annie Joy are going to talk us through that now. Hello, we are going to be making some Easter garden biscuits. Thanks to our friend Kate Campbell for coming up with this idea. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, first of all, you're going to need a round biscuit. We've got chocolate biscuits. So this is your base. And then we're going to need some icing. Um, and we need to make this green. Um, you can use shop bought icing, butter icing. This is just um, icing sugar with water in it. So do you want to make that a bit green, Annie? With some food colouring. Squeeze a bit in. So you might need a bit more than that. Make it nice grass green. There you go. It's a lovely noise there, isn't it? Right, stir that round then. Now that's brilliant. And then when we're ready, we're going to spread a bit of this on to our biscuit for the grass. So we've got chocolate for the mud, optional, and green icing for the grass and to kind of stick everything together. You could also use chocolate spread or peanut butter or whatever you like, really. All right, we ready? Okay, so just pop a spoon on there. Oh, that's quite a lot, actually. So I don't think we're going to need much. And then spread it about a bit. Doesn't need to be neat. There we go, we've got our green grass. You might need a bit more. Yeah. Okay, and then so we're making an Easter, an Easter day garden, really. Um, some of you might remember making um, Easter gardens when you were a kid. Now, we're going to use one of these jam and cream biscuits. I've tried it with um, party rings. Uh, they don't really cut in half really very well. Um, so you just trim a little bit off the bottom of your jam and cream thingy. Not much, just a little bit. And then this is going to be our tomb. So if you take one of those and then pop that on like that. You can look at it the other way. I'm doing it around this way, Annie, so that they can see it on the camera. Hopefully they can see it on the camera. And then you need to take a mini egg. I'm going to have a white one, so have a mini egg. And we're going to put that just to one side, so it's like the stone of Jesus' tomb that has been rolled away. And then you can put some flowers in your garden. Um, any sprinkles that you've got around. We've got hundreds and thousands. Sprinkles, stars, put them in your garden to make some flowers, just however you like, really, as many as you like, and there you have it, an Easter garden biscuit. Now what does yours look like, Annie? Not done yet. Need the flowers. Need the stars. And you can make as many of these as you like, really. We've got lots left, so um, you can make some more. They're really quick. Um, but you'll probably get a bit of a sugar rush if you eat them. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Are you done with yours? Mm. Ooh, my egg is rolling away. There we go. There we go. Hope you enjoyed making them. Ordinarily on Palm Sunday, we would hand out palm crosses to people coming to church for them to take away and to remember what Jesus uh, did for them. 
this Sunday we're not gathering and nor are we allowed to post things through your letterboxes so we can't give these to you uh, this Sunday. So what we're asking people to do is to show us your palm crosses. It could be a cross like this one that you've got in your house that you want to share and show others. It might be that you make the shape of a cross out of household items and share your pictures of it. It might be that you uh, want to be really creative and make your own palm cross and Google it online and find instructions about how to do it or how to make other forms of palm crosses. But the important thing is, is that we share with each other what it is we've made. So this week, whatever day it is, if you're watching this in a month's time, we still want to see your palm crosses on our Facebook page the parish of Knights Elm. So do uh, sign on and share your palm crosses with us. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, if you've not quite managed to get all the bits done in the right times, do feel free to watch again, press pause and take um, part in the service in your own time. But thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you his peace now and always. See you again soon. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Noah. Happy birthday.